Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mysterious Nighttime on How To Minecraft. Today, we are back from our little intermission episode of um, Choco's Little Challenge. We are back to work on preparation for creating the chest room. Now today, I want to address something. Um, yesterday's episode should have been longer than it was. The reason it wasn't is because I did something that was recorded, but I had my mic muted because it, I had to do some other things. So, um, I'll go ahead and explain what that little egg is up there. This little egg is Roger. Roger, when I was coming back from our journey, and by the way, I think this is Vixhorse someone told me. Uh, I'm not sure yet. But, um, when I was coming back from my journey, I happened to stumble across the first house that I ever made on the server, and I uh, got all sentimental. And I opened up the chest, and I saw... Some crap in there, and one egg. So I took the egg back with me, and I framed it, or I renamed it Roger. Got an iron frame and framed it, and that is now our monument to the, uh, what should I call us? To the mountain house. This is our monument, the Roger egg. Uh, it's a little SpongeBob reference, but uh, yeah, so Roger symbolizes uh, the first thing we ever did on HTM that eventually led us to find this mountain and find our piece of home. Beautiful. I honestly think to myself, like, do you ever realize that if I had built my house somewhere else, this whole entire series would be different? That's kind of funny. I don't know. Just random thoughts. But anyway, uh, and another quick update. A very exciting update, by the way. <laughs> that looks so weird. Just that one little... Eh, I gotta break that down. And an exciting update. I've been telling you guys about this for a few days. Uh, those that follow me on Twitter already found out about this yesterday when this goes live. But... The reason I've only been recording one HTM episode or one YouTube episode for the past few days is because I've been busy trying to look for a car um, that, you know, going around to dealerships and stuff like that. And today I brought her home. She is at my driveway right now. I'll go ahead and pop a little picture right on the screen. Uh, I don't, not bragging or anything, just informing you guys because, hey, I like to keep in touch with you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. You're like my friends, honestly. You guys are so great. Um, but yeah, she's a BMW 328i, all white, uh, pre certified pre-owned, obviously. It's not new, but it's just like new, honestly. It's just... Ah, but thank you guys, by the way. If it wasn't for YouTube, I, uh, I wouldn't be able to have that car, and that's being truthful, so I owe all of you guys a huge thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the episode. So, with the chest room... We need one object that we don't quite have yet. And that, my friends, is glowstone. The reason we want glowstone is because in part of the chest room, we'll need it in the back behind the chest to illuminate it in a certain way that I'm looking for. Problem is, well, glowstone's hard to come by and it's most likely going to be on top of lava. So we're going into the nether today with the possibility that we may get our first death on the server, and that's not okay. <laughs> so we're going to be taking precautions before we actually go in there, thanks to uh, a good friend of ours, Tyler. So we got the Pop Rocks here, and we got our Pixie Stick and our Candy Corn, uh, all this other stuff right here. The thing is, we are going to need to use this Pop Rocks and these Pixie Sticks for our little venture. Now, here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna need to take three pieces of glass. We're gonna make ourselves a brewing stand before we go in there and brew up some potions like straight away. And if I'm correct, there we go, okay. So we got our brewing stand. We're just gonna place this straight down here because honestly, why not? And we're gonna get our glass bottles and we're gonna make ourselves some fire resistance potions so there is a very minimal possibility that we will die in the nether whatsoever. Even if we fall, I think the only thing that would kill us would be fall damage and or withers or gas and stuff like that. But we've got some pretty good armor in terms of that, so we shouldn't have any problem avoiding death. Now, if I do recall how this works, you put the pop rocks in here, you put the, uh, what is this called? Um, oh man, I completely forgot what they're called. Dang it, ty oh, nether warts right there in the tag. Uh, yeah, you put the nether wart in here and you make awkward potions, I believe. Awkward or mundane? I think they're awkward potions to start off. And then once we do that, we'll need this little magma cream we got from Preston. It's like this was meant to be. Uh, Preston gave me back one of my balls after he had had a night with it. As you can kind of tell, it's got all the 
lava over it. Uh, so let's not speak of that. But anyway, we got the awkward potion. So we're going to go ahead and dip the magma cream in there. And then the thing we need after that is actually going to be redstone. And we have a ton of redstone ore from our mining adventure. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put all these down. And we're just going to mine a giant freaking stacks of just a bunch of stacks of redstone um, right out here. And I'll actually need to get some of this gold cooking in here as well. We got the iron in there. And do, is there anything else we need to cook? No, we can put the lapis away for right now because I was using that to enchant. Let's go ahead and see how many stacks of freaking redstone we can get out of this. We got our fortune three pick. Here we go. All right, not too crazy of an amount just yet. Actually, that's that's pretty good, the amount we got there. I'm thinking three and a half stacks. Maybe four. Uh, hmm. Maybe four stacks? Oh, baby. Four stacks. Wow, okay. Actually, a little bit over five. That's sweet. All right, excellent. So the thing we'll need to do now is we got the fire resistance potions. We're going to drop a redstone in there. Now, this is on my memory. I haven't looked this up. I'm pretty sure this is the one that keeps the duration going for a long period of time. If not, it's just a huge derp on my end because I try to be a hero and do it all on my own. So let's actually hope I was correct on that. And some people are probably facepalming if I actually got it wrong. Let's pray to Jesus that we were correct. I'm being anticipated the whole thing. Because we're doing this whole thing. Uh, there we go. Uh, just drop that. Alright, cool. So we, that, yeah, that was the extending. Good, good, good. I haven't forgotten too much about Minecraft in the time that I've been away from survival. So, we got our three fires. This is potions. Now, here's the deal. We're going to create, once again, another temporary chest. Now, this temporary chest is going to house everything in here that we don't want to lose from this. We have our silk touch pick. Now, I believe this will... How much will this be used for? 250. Okay, so we're going to use this to get the uh, glowstone. We're going to leave our other silk touch here. We're using the competition pickaxe to get our glowstone. Thank you, Choco, by the way. Um, we're going to put that in there. We'll need the ender pearls in there. So everything we don't want to lose. Everything we don't want to lose. Let's keep our shovel in there. Let's uh, keep our fortune pick in there. Um, what do we really not need in here? We don't need torches. We could use some building blocks. We could just honestly use stone for something else. Uh, we have our one arrow. We have our string. We have our baked potatoes. That'll be our food that we'll definitely need. In fact, we'll need a little bit more than that, actually. Oh boy, I'm getting antsy just thinking about this whole adventure. It's going to be freaking intense as hell. Got our apples, our bones, that, the podzil, the dark oak planks... Do we need torches for anything? Eh, maybe. Got our arrows in there. Got our water bucket. Even though we can't use a water bucket in the nether. And uh, I believe that's going to do it for everything that we want to bring with us. We still got our grade A armor on. So if we lose this, eh, it'll kind of be terrible. But um, the, the good thing is I've been using my levels lately to uh, enchant books. In case anything was to happen to this armor, you know, we'd have a little bit of a starting room to be able to go back to things. But anyway, we've got pretty much everything we need, and we are going to go in here. We're going to brave the nether. So I will be back in just a quick second, because nature is calling us. This is a little bit awkward. See you guys back in just a quick moment. Alrighty. I have returned, and we are ready to go into the nether. So let's just go ahead and do it. Honestly... Been a while since I've been in the nether. Not too long, actually, but... Ooh, did this get changed at all? No, it doesn't look like it got changed. Okay. So let's figure... Why is there a chicken? Why is there a chicken in here? Okay. Let's figure out where we want to go in terms of getting glowstone. Over there looks like our most promising area to start. There's a gas down there. Let's just eliminate him real quick. <laughs> Fire arrows in the nether. It's ironic, isn't it? Okay, let's think. I think we want to go over there. The question is, how the hell do we get over there? In fact, I probably could have used a bit more building blocks if I wanted to. And where does this... Is this a portal? Ah, it's a deactivated portal. Where does this go to? Hmm. We don't need fire resistance right now. We could use it later on. In fact, if we were to fall in, technically we could just use the fire resistance while we're falling. And is it true that these can one-shot blazes? 
Can this one shot a blaze? Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Okay. So let's go ahead and think. Where do we need to go to get over there? Let's kill this guy first off. Come here, Wither. Come here, Wither Skeleton. That'd be cool if I got some Wither Heads one down here. Just completely unintentionally. Oh, man. Uh, hmm. We could swim for it. We could swim. Or we could build. That's what I'm thinking we'll do. I think we'll build away all the way over there so let's go ahead oh boy huh. oh boy there's some mobs here all right not too bad and i'm thinking yeah let's build over to right about there is where I'm thinking we can go to. We actually don't have enough building blocks to be able to do that. Actually, nah, stack. And what I'm gathering right now may be enough. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll keep building across. We don't need our fire resistance potion just yet. We can save that till when we actually, if we actually fall. Guys, don't worry. I came with the proper precautions. If I fall, we can drink a potion. So if you're freaking out, don't know. And by the way, for those yelling in the comments, I know I have ender pearls. I know I can ender pearl over there. The problem would be getting back. That's why uh, I'm saving these ender pearls for pretty much a do or die situation. So, ender pearls are always a good thing to have in the nether for sure. And it would suck if I just like lagged out or crashed in the middle of doing this. Oh boy, that would just be the worst. That would be ground beef level worst. All right, here we go. Excellent. So now we are over here. I don't know if this area has been explored yet, but it looks to me like a bit over in this direction is some untapped glowstone. Now how we will get over there is the question that has yet to be answered. Let's actually go over this way first. Actually, hmm. This is the problem with being in a nether area that's already been wildly explored. What about down there? Is there a glowstone? Well, that's the way that we get over there. Hmm. We could try and shoot an ender pearl over there, to be honest with you. Um, question is, how do we do that? Let's actually just move around here. Let's... I'm gonna have to mute that, because I just freaking slammed on uh, a spoon. Let's actually put that down here. I, had, I was eating cereal earlier, right before I was recording this. And I forgot to put my plate up before I started recording, and that was probably, like, rest in peace headphone users, because even that freaked the hell out of me. Oh, man. Okay. So, let's just adventure out in the nether, and, uh, I will be right back once we figure out... Eh, actually, hmm, nah, I'll stick with you guys for a little while. Okay. The question is, how much glowstone have people actually scavenged out of the nether? Because it looks to be quite a bit. I mean, there's a lot up there, and we could just use building blocks to get through there. In fact, actually, getting more building blocks probably would have been a good idea. Hmm. Hey. Let's see. What about over here? That doesn't look like it's been broken into. In fact, actually, that doesn't even look like it's been lit up. This area seems untapped. At least from what I... Oh, is this another... Has anyone been here? Hold on. Methinks I discovered something. And methinks this bow is actually not a one-hit kill on blazes like I had thunk. Has anybody been here before? Uh, yeah. Looks like it. Definitely looks like it. I really shouldn't be questioning, like, thinking if people haven't been to these areas. Because this server's been around a long friggin' time. And that skeleton is just shooting me straight in the ass. Alright. The thing we don't want to do is piss off any pigmen. That would pretty much send us straight to death. So don't shoot them. <laughs> you can actually die by fire in here. Oh, it's beautiful. Come on, guy. Any of you doing something funky? I'm in the nether. I don't know what Log's doing at the moment. I'm not doing anything funky. I'm jumping on my horse. I might be generating new chunks. Not sure, though. 
Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if these chunks are new or not, but there does seem to be quite a bit of glowstone here. So let's go ahead and pick up all this stuff above us. Spawn race just hit the bricks. PD. I didn't do anything. Can you sign off for like 10 seconds? Fine. Alright. Let's see if it was me that was causing that, because I really hope not. It should be fine now. I mean... Hmm. Alright. That's been about 10 seconds. Invalid. Okay. Be right back. Well, I've been around the nether a little bit now. Um, gone through quite a few stuff, and I don't know if I had recorded some audio saying, of, or showing me getting some glowstone and saying that I was going to be back, because I looked up on my track and I see that it stopped at 17 minutes, and I'm pretty sure that was the intro part of it. I could be wrong, but I think I might have messed up. Uh, so anyway, if I didn't, and I do need to go back and edit some stuff. I did say I was going to journey around the nether a little bit, mute for a little while, and come back once I've got my things. Uh, and right now, we've gotten some pretty good stuff. We've got over two stacks of glowstone, uh, a little bit of quartz over here and there, but quartz we can always come back for later on. Uh, I do have another magma cream from another magma uh, slime that I killed. Um, damn cousins. But right now, I think we're doing pretty good in terms of things. If we ever need more, we can come back now because we made kind of a little path. And I think we know how to get back here, if ever need be. So for right now, we're actually going to drop out of the nether. Uh, just grab this tiny little quartz here, because we'll, we'll use some quartz for some builds later on in the future. Uh, it's always good XP, and quartz is pretty hard to come by in an SMP server sometimes. So might as well take advantage of what you got down here, right? And considering the fact that I've taken, like, none of it that I've passed by. But, uh, yeah. So the one thing I want to do very quickly... Uh, you can kind of see, like, my weird little buildings I've made here, just kind of shuffling around the glowstone in the area. I don't think they really care. I don't think anyone on the server minds that I leave those things up, because, I mean, it's the nether. It looks like crap, you know, from the beginning. But the one thing I do want to check out is just to make sure that this nether fortress has been explored or not. Because thinking about it, I don't know. And I thought to myself, nether fortresses can have horse armor. At least I believe. So let's actually just go ahead and check in here and see whether or not this baby has been explored. Because if it has been, then that's great. If not, we can maybe find some cool stuff. Um, you know, just see if we can find some things. We shouldn't have any issues dying to withers because we've got overpowered armor. Maybe we could find a skull or something. Who knows? Who knows, honestly? Uh, so right now we're looking for chests, possible nether wart, and anything we can find of the sort. Let's see, this is a lava room, and then back here, if I see any area excavated out where uh, there should be other stuff, I'm going to be pretty sad. I want this to be unexplored, dang it. I want to have some sort of nether fortress to explore on my own without having to go like a thousand blocks out, which I actually might have to do if I really want that. Oh, hello, guy. And so we got another one of these, and oh, into fire! First time getting that, huh? Huh, yay achievements. Alright, let's see. Any chests or anything over here? In fact, you would be a spawner. No, you're broken. Who would break you? Why would someone break a blaze spawner? That makes zero sense. Oh, man. Oh, can't get mad at the pigman. Oh, jeez. Watch out, pigman. Alright, I, I just gotta be really careful right now. Man, we got a frick ton of these guys, huh? Oh, this is gonna set us up for quite a while. How many do we got? Nine of these! That's 27 potions. And a good amount of blaze rods as well, for future use. Alright. Oh, oh. Chill, guys. Chill. I forgot you guys can actually still attack, even when you're tiny. I think they can. Or something else was attacking me. Alright, hello. Hello. Yeah, I don't see any chests here, so that might be some bad news bears if it's been explored or not, because it looks like it has been. Yeah, this has definitely been explored before. Who would break the blaze spawner is my question. That's kind of... Oh, oh man, I thought those were stairs. I was just about to break that and fly straight off. Damn. Okay, where's this blaze shooting me from? Is it like up there or something? Through the wall? No, but that is another room right there. Oh boy, oh. Where is he shooting me from? Jeez, guy, calm down. Alright, anything over here, possibly? 
Nah, this place has already been cleared out. Okay, so, a little bit of an exploration, but, you know, someone's probably already came by here. Which is, you know, that's fair enough, I suppose. Then again, yeah, I kind of saw that little thing at the beginning. Completely forgot about that the second time coming around. So yeah, it's already been explored. That's alright. So we'll go ahead and return back home with our glowstone. And then we'll see what we need to do afterwards. I will catch you guys back. Actually, hold on. I need to make sure that I remember how the hell to get out of this place. I think I remember it. We came from, where was it? We came from right here, I believe. I don't want to have to go back and look through my recordings. And then we wrapped around, where was it? Was it around here? Oh boy, did we happen to get lost? I wouldn't be surprised if we got lost in the nether. That's not a very uncommon thing. Alright, so there's the other place that we need to be at. Uh, where was the thing we built along from? What was that tiny little thing? Okay, let's actually drop down here. Analyze this area. Where do we need to be? Where do we need to go? Who do we need to meet? We need to be up there. Okay, so we can just dig out a little area right here, being careful of the lava underneath us. And how this just demolishes his pickaxes like crazy. Alright, so we got a ton of this right now. We can just go ahead and build upward. And over. By the way, an interesting fact about Minecraft, for those of you that care about benchmarking FPS and all that kind of stuff, like making sure that you have the most Minecraft FPS as possible, fun fact of the day, using F3 actually hinders your FPS a, just a ton. Like, absolutely a ton. Right now, I'm looking at the X-Story, I'm getting a thousand frames on average. I hit F3? Eh, well, typically it does. See, right now I'm getting... It's showing that I've got about 700 frames. I hit F3, it dips down to 450, 500 or so. Sometimes it doesn't do anything when you're looking straight down like that, but a lot of the times it is actually very hindering on your FPS. So just know that if you're using F3 to benchmark your FPS in Minecraft, even though pretty much any computer in the world can run it, at least with one frame or two. Actually, thinking about it, that's not really true. People who say that, like, any computer can run Minecraft, that's really not a true statement, because a lot of computers have a very hard time maintaining Minecraft. But, uh, yeah. What I was saying, though, is just... Just a fun fact of the day, that it does actually impact your performance quite a bit. So, there you go. Quite enjoyable. So, we found our area that we needed to be at, and this is our area that we needed to be at. Holy cow. Alright, we're walking the tightrope of death. Do 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 And we were actually get able to get through this whole thing without using a single potion. Alright, that's what I like to see, because I actually didn't think we were going to be able to run into any easily accessible places that had... What are you? What on earth are you? I didn't think we were going to be able to run into any areas that had a lot of... Oh boy, we crashed. There is a moment of... pain. Disappointment in yourself. When you went through... Returning from the nether all the way to here, doing about six minutes worth of very vigorous commentating. Only to find out that you weren't actually recording your voice, and only the game. I'm out of it today. Mainly because I've had a lot of other priorities to work with, like bringing home the new car. Um, so I've kind of been really out of it in terms of making sure that I'm actually recording things. But as a summary, we came back here... Um, and we put our glowstone back away in the chest, so we've got all of this to work with here for the build. Now, here's the thing. I'll go ahead and summarize what I spent six minutes saying before. We have all our specialty items now. This is all of the preparation that we need to do to start building on this thing. The reason I did it on camera was just, you know, for entertainment purposes and just so you guys can be more aware of the series since I don't stream it very often because I haven't had time. So, the next episode of the chess series that we do, the next part, rather, I should say, of this very, very long and dirt out episode, will be building the thing. We have all the building blocks, we just need to make them, craft them into, like, stairs and slabs and all that, whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, just... 
leave me some sympathy or support for the fact that I keep messing up on this commentary. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching episode 22 of uh, How To Minecraft. When we come back on episode 23, if nothing else happens in the middleman, we should be back to start work on the chest room. But anyways, take care guys and have a great freaking day. Ciao!